The land that we know as South Dunedin today is really extremely different to what it looked like when the first people arrived here over 500 years ago and it's very different to even 100 years ago when people were starting to settle the place and build houses. So the woman we see in the picture here is headed roughly to where Countdown Supermarket is today. At the time, of course, this wasn't a solid piece of land. It had lots of little arms of inlets of water that came in and out during high tide and low tide. This is where the biggest flooding was noted in June 2015. Here is what this area looked like about 100 years ago. And he's operating a paddle wheel to drain the water from his fields into a roadside ditch. This is what was necessary a hundred years ago to maintain a reasonable level of dryness. Along the harbour margin, where there's currently a built-up industrial area, there used to be tidal mudflats. On the other coastline, there were low-lying dunes and a lagoon. And inland of this, on the flat, we had a lot of marshy sort of wetland area. In these wetlands, you had wading birds and eels. Parts of Hooper's Inlet are actually a good visual reference for what parts of South Dunedin would have looked like in the 1800s. When people were first settling South Dunedin in the 1800s, the coastal dune system was very different to how it looks today. It was generally a lot lower lying and there were sort of lagoons interspersed amongst these low dunes. Sometimes in storms the sea would actually come all the way through the dunes the first settlers here saw that the sand could actually be quite useful and they dug parts of the dunes out and they used the sand for foundations for their houses. They actually filled in the really low-lying parts of South Dunedin to make sure that their houses were built above the groundwater level. So this postcard shows what St Clair would have looked like over a hundred years ago. We're at a similar vantage point now showing that same area with the dunes modified the reclamation along the harbour margin was done quite differently from how it would be done these days. So these days there's a lot more geotechnical thought that has to go into packing down the land and making sure that it's solid before any buildings or roads go onto it. The reclamation along the harbour was built on soon after the sand was pumped in. And this means that it has been gradually settling down ever since, which has resulted in some local subsidence of the land. In this photo you can see the locations of the Edgar Centre in Mitre 10 and these are built on what was once a tidal mudflat on this reclaimed harbour margin. Humans have modified the South Dunedin landscape a huge amount since the 1800s when the first settlers were here. We've made it a lot easier to live on but beneath the surface there is still a very dynamic marshy sort of environment which responds to different groundwater conditions and the rise and fall of the sea.